What's the latest from Big Red? We're gonna tell you. I'm Tim and you're watching Shop Tour Reviews. Last night was Milwaukee's brand new pipeline event. Now what this was, was basically a look into the future and into the now of what tools they're gonna be releasing this month as well as even into 2021. Now typically each year we get invited up to what they call NPS or New Product Symposium where a lot of the media and us included get to go up, put our hands on tools, take pictures of tools, you know, bring these things to you, talk about them, talk about how we think they're gonna fit in the market. But with this whole COVID craze, we obviously couldn't do that. Milwaukee couldn't have hundreds of people up there uh, and still keep uh, our distance and, and all those things. So basically they started this online event called the Milwaukee Pipeline. Now, what we're gonna do is just share some of these tools. Actually, I'm gonna share all the tools that were there. And I'm gonna start with the ones that I think you as my audience, you as our audience, are gonna like the most. But I'm gonna go ahead and cover everything. So right out of the gate, one thing we are really excited about is Milwaukee is releasing new impact tools. Now, it's no question about it, Milwaukee's M18 and M12 impacts have really, uh, integrated themselves into the mechanics world, into the construction world as great impact tools that replace a lot of air tools and replace any plug-in tools, but specifically looking at the ergonomics and looking at kind of that mid and small size, Milwaukee has released a new compact impact wrench in the M18 line. So remember we got the stubby, what last year, maybe, yeah, last year. So we got the stubby, but that's an M12 fuel. Now they've released the new M18 Fuel Compact Impact Wrench, as well as the version two of the mid-torque. Now this really started something uh, that we were really excited to see. A really powerful tool in the mid-torque, but also a smaller size that's much more ergon ergonomic, a lot lighter to carry, and they've done this even more so in their Gen 2 of this mid-torque impact. Their hopes are is that the new mid-torque impact will be able to handle 90% of the workload of the typical mechanic. Now here's some of the specifications on the new mid-torque impact. 600 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque, 550 foot-pounds of fastening torque, up to 2,575 RPM, impacts per minute are up to 3,100, and you get four-mode drive control, uh, which gives you three basically typical power modes, as well as a fourth mode, which is the drive control, which is going to basically allow that nut to stop once you're tightening it up, once it's tightening at all, it's gonna stop once it starts impacting, and when you're loosening, it's gonna slow down once it realizes it's released, keep you from you know, slinging nuts across the shop. Also, tool length is six inches, and this thing only weighs five pounds with the battery. So again, ergonomics is the key. You also get a three LED light output right around the anvil, and we love seeing that. Much improvements there on the mid-torque, greater power, and we love that light feature, so can't wait to get our hands on that. Now you can get this in assorted flavors from 3 8 drive to half inch drive, friction ring, pin detent, you name it, kit, no kit, uh, what have you, they'll all be available. And those are gonna be available in November. Now also available in November is the brand new M18 Compact Impact Wrench. And so this is really to get you in those tight spaces, but still be able to deliver a lot of power. Looking at 250 foot pounds of nut busting torque, 250 foot pounds of fastening torque, uh, RPMs are up to 2,400 and 3,500 impacts per minute. And again, you get that four mode drive control um, with the auto shut off and bolt removal motors are up as well. It's, again, it's gonna save you on you know, not over tightening a nut so you can come back with a torque wrench as well as when you're loosening, it's not going to fly that nut off. Uh, again, you can get this in a, a 3 8 as well as a half inch in various uh, different anvils as well. And as a bare tool, or as a kit. So looking forward to that again, that's in November as well. Now stepping up to the big boy impacts is the new Milwaukee D-handle impact. Now we had some information kind of leaked to us months ago that we reported on. So we're glad to see it's finally coming to fruition. And again, it's out this month and it's the new D-handle impact one inch. They have it in both the snub nose as well as the extended anvil as well. So the wheel and tire guys will be excited. 
Um, and that's going to fit in that you know, diesel mechanic, um, uh, heavy, ma or heavy machinery, um, heavy equipment. Um, so whether you're doing you know, uh, excavator work and changing, changing tracks or you're changing blades on dozers or, or you're changing you know, wheels and tires, what have you, this impact should definitely do it. You're looking at 2,000 foot-pounds of nut busting torque and 1,900 pounds of fastening torque. Again, you get a one inch uh, friction ring with the through hole so you can see run the pin as well. You also get the four mode drive control, variable speed up to 1200 RPMs and up to 1440 impacts per minute. Now tool length is about 18 inches and tool weight weighs about 24 and a half pounds with the battery and you get a two year warranty on that tool. So not your typical five year warranty on your, on your smaller tools that, that D handle is only going to carry a two year warranty. Now also, as I mentioned, we get, the, we get the one inch in the extended anvil as well. And what that's going to give you, is going to give you that same 1,900 foot-pounds of fastening torque and the 2,000 foot-pounds of nut busting torque. You get the four mode drive control. You get the same 1,200 RPMs. Uh, also, impacts per minute are at 1,440 as well. And uh, tool length is 23 and a half inches roughly with the weight being 26 and a half pounds. So you're adding, you're adding some weight for that extended anvil on there. And again, you're getting a, a two year warranty on that. Now what you get on this also is the one key app. So you can actually set the uh, torque limit on these. So it's only tightening to between 350 and 450 foot pounds so that you're not over tightening those, uh, those lug nuts on those bigger rigs. And then you can come back with your torque wrench and set those where it needs to be. So to help clean things up, Milwaukee has released their first M18 tool as part of the Packout system. Now, I thought we got the radio that was part of the Packout, but maybe that's not considered a tool. Anyway, we think it is. But so they've released the new M18 fuel Packout vacuum. So now the Packout system can connect to your vacuum, vice versa, your vacuum connects to the, pi the Packout system carry that around on the job site as you need to. We think that's a great enhancement to the pack out system. It's already a hugely growing success. That will be released in October. Uh, you get 50 CFMs of air, get a water lift of 47 inches and sound level is 87 decibels. Um, canister capacity is two and a half gallons with an inlet, inlet diameter of one and a quarter inches. It's 13 inches tall. 17 inches long and about 10 and a half inches wide and weighs in at about 11 and a half pounds and you get a five-year warranty with that. Now you can also get HEPA filter, a foam wet filter, uh, fleece dust, ba dust bags and the one and a quarter inch round brush kit as well as the uh, a vacuum power tool adapter. Also coming out in October is the new compact vacuum. So it's an M18 fuel compact vacuum and you get a ton of versatility and two-stage debris separation even on this compact vacuum. So unlike most of your other compacts that are out there um, where you get a lot of clogs and things like this, this two-stage separation removes those larger items to keep that from clogging up the system while still filtering the rest of the air and not cutting down on any of that suction. You get a 32 CFM air volume as well as sealed suction of uh, a water lift test of 80 inches um, air performance is 98 air watts. I have no idea what air watts is, but hey, it, I guess it's a calculation of some sort. Uh, canister capacity is a quarter of a gallon. That would be a quart, right? Quarter of a gallon is a quart. So capacity is a quart. Inlet diameter one and a quarter inches. It's 12 inches high. It is 13 inches long and is uh, six and a half inches wide and weighs only four and a half pounds. Again, you get a, a five year warranty. Also releasing in October is the new 12 volt wet dry vac from Milwaukee, uh, 45 CFM. You get a 42 inch water lift test as well as a 1.6 gallon canister capacity. Again, that one and a quarter inch inlet diameter. Uh, it's gonna be about 12 inches tall, 13 and a half inches wide or long and eight and a half inches wide. Weighs in at 10 and a half pounds and you get a five year warranty on that as well. Coming in September, Milwaukee is expanding their Sawzall blade, a reciprocating saw blade line again. Um, and part of the Axe series is going to be the new pruning blade. 
Now this is specifically made for cutting, you know, soft and hardwood branches, you know, three inch, six inch, what have you. And you can get these blades in everywhere from uh, all the way up to 12 inches and down from there. And you can get them in various packs as well. And also is a new wrecker line of carbide teeth blades as well for doing demo work um, and even some new torch blades. So look for Milwaukee to keep expanding on that reset blade line really great blade so we look forward to testing out the pruning blade for sure also releasing right now in august is the new m12 hatchet now this is a little one-handed chainsaw if you will made for purely for pruning really and truly it's not made to cut big limbs or anything like that but just a small one-handed chainsaw type called the hatchet you get a six inch organ bar and chain, uh, five meters per second chain speed. Uh, chain gauge is a 043 and the chain pitch is a 3 8 low profile. Automatic oiler, uh, easy access chain tensioner, as well as metal bucking spikes. I like to see that. A uh, variable speed trigger and you get an onboard scrunch for storage so you can actually use that scrunch for tightening. Glad to see that on board as well. That's very handy on the M18 chainsaw. Uh, weighs in at less than five pounds and you get a three-year warranty with that. It's not a five-year warranty, you get a three-year warranty with the hatchet. In September, Milwaukee is expanding their multi-tool or oscillating tool. So they're gonna have a new M12 as well as a new M18 oscillating tool. Uh, those are very handy tools, especially in the construction market, DIY market as well. If you're working around old stuff, those tools are almost a must in today's world. Definitely helps you with efficiency, helps you get work done a lot quicker. Uh, everything from sanding small areas to even, you know, cutting around what, what have you. And it doesn't matter what material they make a blade for it just about. Um, you get oscillation angle of 3.9 degrees. And this is on the new M12 oscillating multi-tool. Uh, you get uh, OPM or oscillations per minute of 20,000 and a low setting of 10,000. Variable speed dial control, so you can dial that speed wherever you want it. And tool-free blade change, that is huge. To not have to pull out an Allen wrench and change out a tool is big in that. So great to see that uh, uh, tool-free blade change. And again, that's gonna be released in September. Now the M18 is gonna be released in November and you're gonna get more power from a tool with better ergonomics. Uh, you're also gonna get an awesome new light uh, that really is like a big headlight on the front of this tool. So it really improves the, how well you can see what you're doing. Uh, you get a, just like the M12 up to 20,000 oscillations per minute and a low setting of 10,000 oscillations per minute. Um, oscillation angle of 4.2 degrees and you get 180 degree light LED or LED light. As I always mentioned, that brand new headlight is, is amazing. A little over 12 inches in length and uh, only about four inches tall and weighs in at 4.2 pounds. That's with the battery. Uh, you get a three year warranty on the battery and five year warranty on the tool. Now along that same, now along that same line with the oscillating tools are the oscillating blades. Now starting now, Milwaukee is releasing a complete multi-line of oscillating tool blades. So tons and tons of what they're calling their OMT blades, oscillating multi-tool blades. Uh, but they've just got everything you can think of um, from Japanese tooth uh, to, uh, to carbide teeth, to you know, cutting tile, to cutting drywall, uh, you name it, they have it. And uh, again, they're starting that now of rolling out those new blades. So we'll release more info on that as we have it. We may even have some more information on the site on this. The new Milwaukee M12 23 gauge pin nailer will be released in Q1 of 2021. Yeah, we're talking the next year. Now, real quick, basically you're gonna get 750 pin shots per battery charge. So gonna last you a long time, gonna shoot a lot of nails, uh, a lot of pins. Uh, and you're looking at a length from anywhere from half inch all the way up to one and three eighths. And again, that's gonna come out in Q1 of 2021. We'll bring more information as we know about that. The new M18 fuel sectional machine comes out in November and that's for five eighths and seven eighths inch cables. Uh, it's also gonna work for anything from one and a quarter inch all the way up to six inch drain lines. And it's gonna handle roots out as far as 150 feet out. Um, we saw a lot of people commenting and, and talking about uh, already testing this plumbers and just really excited about this and said how they couldn't believe 
uh, than an M18 tool was being able to cut through roots as far out as it was and really almost effortlessly. So uh, it's kitted with, a, with the HD 12.0 battery. And again, we'll bring more info on that as we get it. And that is coming out in November of this year. Um, now, part of the MX Fuel platform, that's the new tools that we talked about last NPS or last product symposium of this new huge battery pack that Milwaukee has now. So they've got something bigger than M18. They've got the MX platform, uh, which is a, a massive battery that, that drives big tools that are typically seen on the construction site. Um, and their new sewer drain machine is part of that MX Fuel platform. It's their 200 pound sewer machine that climbs stairs or climbs in the back of your truck. Actually, it's got kind of a, a conveyance system on it, if you will, that will literally let it crawl upstairs, help you crawl it in the back of your truck, help you crawl in the back of your van. So that was really interesting to see last year as well. We got to, to see that as well. Um, so, you know, plumbers out there, really great machines, especially if you're handling a lot of commercial stuff. Uh, great machine to look into. Again, it runs on the MX Fuel platform, has a drain line capacity of 200 feet, uh, drum capacity of 100 foot of 5 eighths or 3 quarter inch cable, and recommended pipe sizes are 3 to 8 inches, and cable capacity is 5 eighths to 3 quarter inches, um, with the feed type being automatic and manual, and the cable spin speed is 200 RPMs, and a two-year warranty on that tool, as well as a two-year warranty on the MX battery. Also in the MX fuel platform is the new tower light, and this is meant for those big job sites as well. So rather than having to tow in with a truck, a big, you know, huge gas powered, uh, big light stand to stand up, this thing, you roll it in, uh, the feet set down, uh, you can level this thing out very easily. And with the motor, it will actually run the light pod up, spread the light out and you've instantly got 27,000 lumens of light right there. And it is their true view high definition output. So you're getting true daylight light out there. So excited to see that. And that's coming in early 2021. No specifics yet, just early 2021. And finally, Dimex Fuel Power Supply. So basically you're talking about a generator, except it's not a generator because it doesn't have to run and turn a generator. This is basically a huge battery power supply that will power your plug-in tools, that will power your plug-in lights or, or, or whatever you're needing, even a microwave on the job site, warm up that burrito, right? Anyway, this is the new MX Fuel Power Supply. Again, early 2021, uh, 3,600 peak watts, and you get, obviously, an inverter technology that's being able to handle the process of that power. And looking forward to that, it's called the MX Fuel Carry-On power supply. So that's a wrap for the new Milwaukee pipeline. Hope we didn't bore you too bad, but wanted to get that information out to you. Keep track of us. We'll keep bringing information to you. Hopefully we'll get our hands on these new Milwaukee impact wrenches very soon. And we'll bring some real testing to you as well as some real reviews. And we'll also bring you more information as we know it from the Milwaukee pipeline events. Hey, keep smiling, go out and do something nice for someone and have a great day.